Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you uh, these little, a little bit scary <laughs> Halloween trick or treat envelopes or junk journal envelopes. I do have uh, on my Etsy now collection of these envelopes. There is eight designs with these cute little envelopes and they are now uh, on sale and they do look like this. Uh, you can store in that small chocolate back of um, those gummy bears or you know chewy gums or just place it to your journal with some uh, with some message inside each of these envelopes uh, has a note card with uh, either a word or with some halloween poem or verse or quote and each of these po uh, these envelopes comes like this. There is always the uh, same pattern. Envelope, two, these reinforcers, small tag, label, large tag and a note with some poem. So I'm going to quickly show you the designs. All of them are really gorgeous. I love these schools. I'm a little bit scared of those spiders, but I have to say I love them here on the card. I didn't like when the spider came here on my table uh, in that video a few weeks ago. That was a little bit scary, but I like them here. They are perfect for Halloween, perfect for kind of like very grungy, scary journal. So it looks like this when we open it. And they are very easy to put together and they are quite large. looks like this then we have this and because they are large they can store quite a lot for Halloween trick or treat and that's this one And then I do have another two with schools. And there is one more uh, design, which is unfortunately when I printed out, the last one got stuck in my printer. So uh, here I, um, I can show you uh, these seven designs. There is one more, which you can see uh, on my let's, uh, Etsy preview listing. <laughs> so go to have a look, link will be down below. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to put them together. So first of all, you need to print it out. Of course, I do have two different sizes on my Etsy. One size it's A4 print and other size it's US letter print. So choose the size uh, if you will purchase them, of course. Uh, choose the size uh, you are usually printing on and print your designs. My Patreons already has these in today's post so they can download it and print it on. I did print out on A4 uh, 160 GSM paper, so I do have this print and I'm going to fussy cut out all these pieces. I do have all images fussy cut out. First what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this small tag and large tag and I'm going to take old cardstock and glue these two on that cardstock. I want to have them a little bit more stronger. Uh, then the envelope and the card so I'm gonna glue them on old cardstock reinforce these two and this small one so I can let it dry now And I'm going to grab Distress Ink. I'm going to be using today a Vintage Photo Distress Ink from Ranger. It's brilliant color and I do believe it will sit uh, with all this really well. So I'm going to use Vintage Photo Distress Ink and distress all edges on every single piece. Those reinforcers and label just on the printed side, but the card and envelope on both sides. 
I do have distress all edges. I also fussy cut out these two tacks and distress them as well. So I'm thinking first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep uh, my hole punch for later. Uh, this trick or treat label, I'm gonna just put double-sided foam tape in the back so it can be a little bit dimensional I'm gonna grab my envelope get up the ruler and fold the envelope around the ruler that's the kind of most easy way how to fold it so first I'm starting with the kind of like top top and bottom flaps just place the ruler on the edges of these two and fold the paper and then I'm gonna do same with those side side flaps so I just place the ruler with the edges of these two and fold the paper around the ruler and same on that opposite side So that way my envelope can be closed fully. Oh, sit down. Like this. I'm gonna take these two reinforcements, fold them half. And I'm gonna take a glue and glue these reinforcements on the side of my these flaps of the envelope so I'm gonna try to find somehow the middle ish I think it's somewhere here and glued one gonna take second one fold this down Grab this and place it on the opposite side and glue it down. I'm gonna give it a minute to dry <coughs> to dry the glue. I'm gonna take my paper uh, paper punch, <laughs> this crocodile hole punch, and I'm gonna punch the holes here and here. And fixed an eyelet. I'm using six millimeters eyelets, and I don't have any <clears throat> special shop where I am buying them on and on and on. I'm always going on Amazon, and what I will find first uh, for good price, I do buy. So I don't have any link for uh, these eyelets, which I will be using on and on. So I just fix those eyelets. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm gonna punch the holes here uh, on this reinforcement and because there was a glue I will need to help it a little bit it's still a little bit wet so I need to pull oh good and fix the eyelets of course I'm gonna fix that the eyelets And the second one. And my envelope is nearly ready. I do have here this nature style string. And I do have here this beautiful chain. Ball chain. So that chain I'm going to be using to put together these two tacks. And they are here just for decoration. You know, I do like hanging thingies. And I do love to look of metal in my journals and because this I will probably use in my journal. So that's why these decorations. Although you can use it also for those trick and treats. 
box or envelopes so this will be here now i'm gonna take oh not yet first i'm gonna lay it flat and find a good spot for this label i can place it on the top or this way i can place it either on the flaps here so there is no right or wrong space how to place or where to place your little label i actually think i'm gonna place it this time on the kind of like a back side of that envelope that i will like it here or there so right here now i'm gonna take the thread or the string place it to one eyelet Put the card in it, place the other end of my string to the opposite eyelet, and my envelope is done. So it's very fast and easy craft this one. When you do have design, you know, which you can just print it out, it's really always easy. So this is my envelope. And these, is, uh, these are my seven envelopes. One, it's still in my printer. I will have to pull it out. I know this is not rocket science. It's very easy craft. This was more about sharing these gorgeous designs. Uh, I hope that you will enjoy them. Link will be down below. They are now on sale uh, on my Etsy. Uh, for all those who are celebrating Halloween, maybe these will be helpful. Uh, you know, the... The Create Digital Designs, it's another a love of my life. I really enjoy it and I think that's another part of creativity and artistic feeling. And I, I have to say that it's so much joy to play with images. So this is my design. Thank you so much for jumping in. Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. If you are preparing your Halloween trick or treat box, Hopefully this will be helpful. You can do uh, these uh, with uh, another papers, of course, as well. Maybe you got some idea how to do that uh, backbinding. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.